In the huge expanse of the universe, humanity has always sought to push the boundaries of exploration to uncover the mysteries hidden within the depths of the universe. For over four decades, one spacecraft has embodied the hungry interest and relentless pursuit of knowledge, Voyager 2. But recently, Voyager 2 has made a discovery so serious that it has now turned back, compelled by a force beyond our awareness. What could this discovery be, and what does it reveal about the secrets of the universe? Join us on this journey beyond the edge of the universe as we unravel the mysteries of Voyager 2's new, terrifying discovery. In a key moment of human effort amidst the backdrop of 1965, the universe witnessed the birth of an extraordinary chapter in space exploration. Leading the charge was Gary Flandro, a luminary among NASA's cadre of brilliant minds stationed at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Flandro's task was as dangerous as it was fresh, to organize the trajectory of a spacecraft destined for the distant reaches of our solar system, where the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, stood as tempting secrets waiting to be unveiled. Armed with little more than a trusty pencil, a symbol of precision engineering in an age before digital dominance, Flandro embarked on his mission. His careful calculations and smart observations soon bore fruit in the form of a revelation that would redefine the parameters of space exploration. Delving into the annals of celestial mechanics, Flandro discerned a celestial ballet set to unfold in the late 1970s and early 1980s, a rare alignment of the gas giants, a grand celestial choreography unseen for centuries. This alignment promised a celestial spectacle, similar to the planets forming a majestic necklace with Earth at its center. However, the significance of this alignment extended far beyond its visual splendor. It presented a unique opportunity for spacecraft traversing the solar system. As each giant orbited in concert, they created gravitational highways, a celestial slingshot effect that could catapult a spacecraft from one planet to the next, reducing travel time and conserving precious fuel. Flandro's calculation not only revealed the potential to shorten the journey to Neptune but also uncovered a phenomenon known as gravity assists. This technique involves utilizing the gravitational pull of planets to slingshot a spacecraft, boosting its speed and conserving fuel. The alignment of planets that allows for such efficient travel occurs due to the specific positions of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. When they align in a particular configuration, it creates a sort of celestial highway, considerably reducing travel time between Earth and Neptune. NASA's decision to seize this opportunity was proof of its agility and determination in the face of cosmic challenges. The launch of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 marked not only a milestone in space exploration but also a triumph of human ingenuity and perseverance. What's truly remarkable is the longevity of the Voyager spacecraft. Designed with durability in mind, they were equipped with instruments capable of enduring the harsh conditions of space for decades. Despite being launched in the late 1970s, their technology continues to function, albeit with some limitations due to aging hardware. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue their journey through the cosmos, they've become ambassadors of humanity, carrying messages from Earth in the form of golden records containing sounds and images representing the diversity of life on our planet. These records serve as a time capsule, a snapshot of humanity's collective identity waiting to be discovered by any intelligent beings they may encounter in the vastness of space. Their mission has far exceeded expectations, providing invaluable insights into the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Every day, they send back data that expands the understanding of the universe, reaffirming the significance of space exploration in unraveling the mysteries of existence. Despite originally being planned for only four years, the interstellar pioneers embarked on a memorable journey that stretched far beyond its intended duration. Launched in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft proved to be resilient explorers, surpassing expectations and rewriting the textbooks of planetary science as they journeyed through the depths of space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 provided humanity with unprecedented insights into the outer reaches of our solar system. These courageous probes captured stunning close-up images of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's majestic rings, and the detailed landscapes of their diverse moons. From the icy waters of Enceladus to the volcanic eruptions on Io, each discovery unveiled a dynamic and complex universe that challenged the understanding of planetary processes. Voyager 2, in particular, etched its name in the annals of space exploration by becoming the first spacecraft to venture close to Uranus in 1986. 
Its flyby revealed a mysterious ice giant surrounded by an atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Just three years later, Voyager 2 made history once again as it passed by Neptune, providing humanity with its first ever close up look at the distant blue planet and its mysterious moon, Triton. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Voyager's journey lies in its endurance. Despite traveling over 14 billion miles from Earth, the spacecraft continues to communicate with scientists, sending back invaluable data about the interstellar medium it now traverses. These groundbreaking space probes, reminiscent in size of a vintage Volkswagen Beetle, have surpassed all expectations and continue to push the boundaries of human understanding of the universe. The remarkable journey of the Voyager probes began with a daring gravitational assist from Venus, a maneuver never before attempted by any spacecraft. This decision showcased the innovative spirit of the mission, setting the Voyagers apart as true forerunners in the realm of space exploration. Navigating through the large expanse of space was no easy feat the margin for error was incredibly slim, with deviations measured in mere tens of minutes, highlighting the precision required for such interstellar travel. It took numerous careful attempts to ensure every aspect of the journey was carefully planned and executed. As the probes embarked on their voyage towards Jupiter, they ventured ten times farther from Earth than the nearest planet, Mercury. Their path led them through the difficult asteroid belt, a region of space fraught with countless celestial bodies, each posing a potential threat to the mission's success. This journey through the asteroid belt was a topic of severe debate and assumption among scientists and engineers in the 1970s, as the exact density and composition of the belt were not fully understood at the time. Despite these uncertainties, the earlier Pioneer 10 and 11 probes blazed a trail through the supposedly dense asteroid belt intact, proving that such a journey was indeed possible. This feat not only demonstrated the resilience of the spacecraft, but also paved the way for the successive Voyager missions. However, the challenges for the Voyager probes were far from over. As they ventured deeper into the universe, they encountered various obstacles and mysteries, each presenting new opportunities for discovery and innovation. With a mere 69 kilobytes of memory, barely enough to store a small image file by today's standards, the Voyager spacecraft faced a huge challenge as they embarked on their journey. Their memory capacity was the same as just a fraction of what the everyday smartphone can hold, highlighting the incredible imagination of the engineers who designed them. These courageous explorers relied solely on their onboard intelligence to navigate the large expanse of space. To put it into perspective, imagine charting a course through an endless sea with only a compass and the wit to guide you. That's the level of enlightenment these spacecraft operated at before the era of cloud computing and high-speed internet. The data collected by the instruments onboard was stored on archaic. Eight-track tape recorders, the same kind of tapes grandparents might have used to listen to music in their cars. It's mind-boggling to think that such outdated technology was responsible for preserving the invaluable scientific discoveries made by the Voyager missions. Despite their limited resources, the Voyager spacecraft communicated with Earth using a transmitter that was about as powerful as a refrigerator-like bulb. Yet, with the help of colossal 12-feet-wide dish antennas, they managed to send and receive signals across the large expanse of space. Imagine being so far away from home that it takes over 18 hours for a message to reach its destination. That's the reality of the signal sent by Voyager 2 as it ventured deeper into the universe. Every piece of data, every image, every whisper from these distant travelers had to traverse unimaginable distances before reaching the eager ears of scientists back on Earth. As the voyagers journeyed further from Earth, they had to contend with interference from all manner of human-made devices, radios blaring music, television broadcasting shows, and the incessant chatter of cell phones. Despite facing numerous obstacles, the voyagers have defied the odds and continue to surprise astronomers with unexpected discoveries. Their journey through the interstellar void has not only rewritten our cosmic playbook but has also altered our understanding of the unknown realms of space that extend far beyond our solar system. One such mysterious event is the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a celestial gathering of comet-like entities held together by the gravitational pull of the Sun. Stretching halfway towards the nearest star, it remains a distant and captivating realm. The voyagers are slowly but steadily making their way towards this fascinating destination, hoping to unlock its secrets and understand its role in shaping the architecture of our solar system. However, the journey through interstellar space, where the solar wind phenomena give way, 
offers a more accessible front for exploration. Here, the heliopause marks the border between our solar system and the vast expanse of interstellar space, signaling the beginning of uncharted territory. It's a region where the influence of our sun wanes, and the cosmic force of the interstellar medium begins to assert itself. Initially, estimates of the heliopause distance were inconsistent, with some suggesting it to be around 50 astronomical units. This uncertainty prompted a surge in funding for the Voyager mission as scientists sought to shed light on this crucial boundary. However, as the spacecraft departed from this landmark, scientists were amazed to find no expected signs of interstellar transit. This unexpected discovery has sparked intense debate and led researchers to reconsider the current models of interstellar space travel and the dynamics of the heliosphere. Moreover, the voyagers have also provided invaluable data on the composition of the interstellar medium, offering insights into the cosmic environment beyond our solar system. This data has revolutionized our understanding of the universe and opened up new avenues for exploration and discovery. As the voyagers continue their journey into the unknown depths of space, they represent humanity's insatiable curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge, pushing the boundaries of what they thought possible and unveiling the mysteries of the cosmos one discovery at a time. One of the highly anticipated science scientists were eagerly awaiting to confirm our journey into the uncharted territory of interstellar space was the sudden surge in highly energetic particles known as galactic cosmic rays. These particles often originate from supernova explosions and other cataclysmic cosmic events, traveling at velocities nearing the speed of light. While these cosmic rays pose a significant threat to spacecraft and even human astronauts, most of the lower energy particles are effectively deflected by the immense magnetic shield generated by our sun's heliosphere. This shield serves as a protective barrier, shielding our inner solar system from the majority of external cosmic threats. As the Voyager spacecraft continued its unprecedented voyage into the interstellar medium, scientists were not only monitoring the increase in galactic cosmic rays but also examining any alterations in the dominant magnetic field. This magnetic field is influenced by the ionized gases permeating the interstellar space and the nearby stars. The expectation was that this magnetic field orientation would differ from the magnetic field within our heliosphere. Despite these expectations, the Voyager probes reported no noticeable changes in the magnetic field as they journeyed further into interstellar space. This unexpected observation puzzled researchers and added to the secrets surrounding the exploration beyond the boundary of our solar system. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone by piercing through the heliopores, the outer boundary of the heliosphere, the immense bubble of charged particles and magnetic fields created by the sun as solar wind. This breakthrough marked the first time a human-made object ventured into interstellar space beyond our solar system. Voyager 1's journey to the heliopause spanned a staggering distance of more than 14 billion miles from Earth, a testament to human ingenuity and the extraordinary capabilities of space exploration technology. As it ventured into this uncharted territory, Voyager 1 continued to transmit valuable data back to Earth, providing insights into the conditions at the outer reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. Scientists eagerly awaited the arrival of Voyager 1's transmissions, hoping to gain new knowledge about the characteristics of interstellar space. They anticipated observing an expected increase in plasma density, a measure of the concentration of charged particles, as Voyager 1 ventured beyond the heliopause. However, what confounded them was the absence of any significant shift in the direction of the ambient magnetic fields, which had been expected to change as the spacecraft transitioned from the influence of the sun's magnetic field to that of the wider interstellar medium. Fast forward to November 2018, and Voyager 2, the twin spacecraft to Voyager 1, embarked on its daring journey to the heliopause. Like its predecessor, Voyager 2 traversed vast distances and transmitted invaluable data back to Earth, enriching our understanding of the outer boundaries of our solar system. Despite the anticipation and excitement surrounding Voyager 2's arrival at the heliopause, scientists were once again puzzled by the data it transmitted. Like Voyager 1, Voyager 2 detected no significant changes in the orientation of the magnetic fields, challenging existing theories and leaving researchers grappling with new questions about the dynamics of interstellar space. These groundbreaking missions by the Voyager spacecraft not only expanded our knowledge of the cosmos but also underscored the boundless possibilities of human exploration beyond the confines of our home planet. 
While none of the current models could explain this intriguing discrepancy, when Voyager 2 finally reached its destination, the solar wind, a continuous stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, was found to be at its strongest. This unexpected observation hinted that the boundary of the heliosphere, known as the heliopause, might extend much farther than previously estimated, possibly beyond the 120 astronomical units originally assumed. As the Voyager probes ventured deeper into the uncharted territory where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium, they uncovered a wealth of fascinating data. Among the discoveries were subtle yet significant small-scale changes occurring near the heliopause. These variations seem to be influenced by the intricate interactions between the heliosphere and the surrounding interstellar environment, shedding light on the dynamic nature of this boundary region. Despite the intricate changes observed on a smaller scale, the Voyager probes detected surprisingly little variation in the magnetic field at vast distances. This revelation puzzled scientists, raising questions about the spacecraft's eventual departure from the turbulent boundary regions. Would they eventually break free from the clutches of the heliosphere and encounter the true magnetic field of interstellar space? Debate among experts intensified as some speculated that the Voyager probes might still be within the heliosphere, while others pointed to compelling evidence suggesting their journey into interstellar space. This evidence included a notable increase in the detection of galactic cosmic rays and plasma density, indicating a transition into a new cosmic realm beyond the influence of the Sun. Solving this mysterious puzzle surrounding the heliosphere is similar to deciphering the complex dynamics of a goldfish bowl from the perspective of the fish inside. To gain a comprehensive understanding, scientists recognize the necessity of deploying an interstellar probe capable of providing an invaluable outside perspective on this interesting boundary region. Amidst the rapid evolution of technology, the voyagers stand as remarkable relics of space exploration history. Crafted with ingenuity and foresight, these interstellar pioneers are propelled by a unique blend of vintage engineering and timeless innovation. Venturing into the universe with equipment dating back to the 1970s, the Voyagers possess a certain charm that captivates the imagination. Their sturdy frames house instruments crafted with precision, each component meticulously designed to endure the rigors of space travel for decades. Despite the passage of time, these instruments continue to function with surprising efficiency. The power source of the Voyagers is equally fascinating. Utilizing the heat generated from the radioactive decay of plutonium, these spacecraft convert thermal energy into electrical power, a feat of engineering that has sustained their missions for over 50 years. This unconventional power supply has enabled the Voyagers to journey far beyond the reaches of our solar system, transmitting invaluable data back to Earth with unwavering determination. NASA's meticulous approach to managing the Voyager's dwindling power supply highlights the agency's commitment to maximizing the scientific potential of these aging spacecraft. Each decision made by mission engineers is a delicate balance between preserving vital instruments and extending the Voyager's operational lifespan. Despite facing challenges such as diminishing power output and extreme temperatures, the Voyagers continue to defy expectations. The magnetometer and plasma science tool are expected to be the last gadgets to stop working because they're nestled inside the spacecraft's main body, kept warm by the computer's heat. Other instruments are attached to a 43-foot-long fiberglass arm. If everything goes according to plan, scientists could stretch the missions of the Voyagers until 2030. But the real game-changer is power. Despite challenges, the Voyagers will keep on moving forward. It's an astonishingly long journey spanning 16,700 years. Voyager 1 will swing past Proxima Centauri, our closest star neighbor, while Voyager 2 will do the same 3,600 years later. Then they'll keep circling the Milky Way for millions of years, long after our sun fades away and its protective bubble, the heliosphere, disappears. These tough spacecraft will still be there, mostly intact, unlike our small blue planet, Perhaps they might even send out a last message during their never-ending voyage. But if they do, it won't be via radio, and there won't be any humans to receive it. The Voyager saga is a tribute to human exploration and scientific curiosity, pushing the boundaries of time and space.